Hello and welcome to another episode of the Ableton Lifeline Quick Tips. This time I have a little tip for you when you're working with groups. So here I've grouped everything, which just makes the mix down easier, I think. And um, but one thing that you can do that you might have not discovered yet is that if you want to change all the clips within a group, then you can do that on a per scene basis. So I just select this here. And then for example, I can just choose a different color and it'll change it for all the clips. And uh, these are all now MIDI clips. And of course you can also change the time signature, the groove, launch mode, the global quantize, uh, the clip quantization, and also the follow actions. Let me just show you that with the follow actions, which can be useful when you're working on a live performance set. So um, let's say after four bars, I want the, I'm gonna choose other. So let's have a look here. So as you can see, they've been all changed accordingly. These are the options that you have for MIDI clips. If, they're, if it's all just MIDI clips, of course, if it's um, MIDI and audio clips, you only have the clip clips box and the launch box left where you can make changes. And let me quickly show you the same thing for audio clips. So these are the options that you have for audio clips that are within the group. So here you have the warp settings as well that you can change and you know IQ transpose and so on. Yeah I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye. If you're new to Ableton Live or Push then check out my online video courses. More information can be found on my website sonicbloom.net slash courses.